watch this video and if you wanted to be the first one who will get notified if I have posted a new video please click on the notification bell down below all right so let's start in this video you will learn you I who we are and we are already on the fifth week so let's revise first last week or two weeks ago we had healthy habits and unhealthy habits right so I have given you a T chart, okay? If you don't have um, a printed one, you can label each of the pictures like A, B, until H, all right? So you have to put it in the correct column, whether they're healthy habits or unhealthy habits. Now guys, also last week, we talked about responsibility in the community. So in these pictures, can you whisper to your mom what your responsibility is if you are in the mall or in the restaurant or in the supermarket great now all right all right so let's have our lesson proper today we're going to talk about emotions now when we say emotions emotions mm, it means how you feel how you think and sometimes how you behave okay for example you feel like crying uh, being on your own or not wanting to come to school so you feel sad how about you guys can you tell your mom and dad uh, when you feel sad great now so next one I feel anxious or I feel nervous when do you feel that your heart beats faster and you feel like you're sick and you're you feel sweaty you know like you're you're feeling like a bit worried too can you whisper it to your mom when you feel like you're anxious nervous or worried great how about when you feel angry it's normal to feel angry sometimes but it's how you deal with your anger okay so when do you feel angry can you whisper it great okay so how we can resolve that emotion all right now guys before i tell you how you deal with your emotions especially when you're angry let's have a story okay i want your listening ears and i have and i want you to focus on the screen now let's start cool down and work through anger by cherry j Mainers. i like to feel in charge of some things I might feel sad or frustrated when things don't go my way. Can I play too? No, sorry. Or when I can't have or do something I want. Or I might feel hurt if someone doesn't show respect. Look at that. If they're cutting in, right? You don't feel okay. We should show respect to others. I may feel angry too. I might have a hot face, tense muscles, a fast heartbeat, or loud breathing. Sometimes I feel like exploding with my hands, feet, or mouth. But hitting, kicking, and using mean words can hurt people and their feelings. That's not okay. Losing my temper won't help me or anyone else. It can cause more anger and hurt. Keeping my anger shut inside me won't make things better either. All of my feelings are okay. I can admit when I feel angry. I feel mad. I can learn from my anger and find a way to work through it. So guys, there are ways for you to work on your anger. First, I can take some deep breaths or count to 10 to calm down. I can stop and think before I say or do something. I may feel sorry about later. I can cool down. I have lots of ways to cool down. I might go somewhere quiet to relax and think. I can draw or make things, read a book or sing a song. I might also run or play outdoors or spend time with other people. When I feel calm, I can think more clearly. 
I may think about my part in the problem and what I can change. What can I do? So guys, this also applies like when you're at school. Do you remember? We have our thinking chair. We sit by ourselves so that we will think like what we have done and what can we do next time to avoid that problem, right? Talking things over with somebody I trust may help me understand and work through my anger. I can also talk calmly with a person who was there. I can show respect as I tell how I feel and what I want. I can also listen and try to understand the other person's view. So you just have to talk it out. When I've been angry and I've said or done something unkind, I can say I'm sorry. It won't help to blame anyone else. So you just have to apologize. I'm sorry. Me too. I can be patient and forgive people. I can remember that everyone makes mistakes sometimes. It's okay. So guys, you have to be patient as well. Like wait for someone to, uh, to forgive you and you like forgiving other people too. Because not everyone is perfect. We can make mistakes. When I can't change something, I can choose to accept it and make the most of it. For example, if you're about to go out and have a picnic outside, but it rained, well, you could do or you could have a picnic inside your place, right? At home, as long as you're together. So that means like, just accept it, sort it out and focus on the solution, right? I can look for the best in everyone. Changing the way I think about someone can change the way I feel. I can find a way to get along. When I cool down and work through my anger, I can feel peaceful again. The end. The end, guys. So I hope that you've learned how to uh, deal with your anger, how you can calm yourself down. All right, so going back to our slides, now there are things that you can actually do if you feel sad, you feel anxious, you feel angry. So you may have your friends with you. You may phone a friend or a family member. You can be with your family, talk to them. And you can also talk to your teacher, all right? So there you go. Now this time, I want you to tell your mom what she will do if you feel angry, if you feel sad, if you feel anxious, all right? All right, guys, so let's move on. Let's learn more and more. Let's talk about goals. Now, goals, these are the things that you want to do so you can be better. Next week, we're going to have our three-way conference. Mommy, me, and you are going to talk about what you want to do so you can be better. All right, so goals are the things that you want to do or what you can do, all right? For example, goals for yourself. Hmm, I'm thinking of I can study more. I can read more. I can work harder. So those are the things that you can do. So you can be better or you can even go to grade one, all right? Now, there are goals actually that are not only for yourself, but also for the other people or for the whole community. I gave you this worksheet so you can draw your goals. Now, for example, goals that talk about things that you want to try, places that you want to go, or people that you want to see, and also how you can help other people. So these goals are not only for yourself but for everyone and for the whole community so guys i want you to draw your goals and talk about them next week all right in preparation for our three-way conference all right guys thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for watching this video see you bye